Hello, hello, creative stampers. Hello, welcome to another creative card challenge Wednesday. And Susan, you are not alone, darling. <laughs> I see these comments come up and I can't comment to them um, because I don't know why, but y'all can comment to each other. So that's awesome. I love it. So we have Susan and Carlos and uh, Susan, I almost called you Sunday, Susan, Donna. Oh, good morning, you guys. Thank you so much for showing up so bright and early this morning for another card challenge. And Katie's here with us. Love it, love it. Oh, so it is March. And with March, you can't have a card challenge without one St. Patrick's Day challenge. So that's what we're doing this week. We're doing a St. Patrick's Day challenge. Now, I want to remember, remind you guys. Well, first of all, if you don't have a St. Patrick's stamp set, that doesn't matter because you can still make a St. Patrick's card. Three or, yeah, three hearts or four hearts. You can put them together to make one, to make a four-leaf clover. Uh, rainbows are a part of St. Patrick's Day with the uh, sham the little leprechaun and his pot of gold. Um, luck, uh, horseshoes. I saw someone use the letter U as a horseshoe. Um, you know, how it does the U, but then it has the two little bars across it. Yeah, it looked just like a horseshoe. It's pretty cool. Uh, yeah, so there's lots of different things you can do, or just green in general, um, you know, whatever. So I know your creative juices will get a flow in, and we're going to have some really cool St. Patrick's Day cards this week. But speaking of card challenges, this week I'm not going to forget. So last week we had vellum. And I loved all y'all's vellums. Oh my gosh, I sure hope you all go back and look at all the cards that are entered. Because the whole reason we do this is to help give you all some inspiration and some ideas in your card making, okay? Uh, plus getting a prize if you win. <laughs> so this week's winner is, drum roll please, da 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 And congratulations, Martina. And it's a, a Keeney. Martinison, I guess, or Martinson. Yeah, Martinson. Uh, anyways, Martina, congratulations. And this was a vellum we had. Oh, gosh, I have lot, no idea how long ago it was, but it had words printed on it. Um, so this is vellum. And it looks like she embossed a chandelier. Very cool. You've got style. So it's a beautiful vellum card. Thank you so much, Martina. And please send me an email. Remember my email uh, Christina at creating with Christina. That way I don't lose your address. Um, when you private, when you message me on the Facebook, I tell you, those messages are so hard to find. So um, it's just safe bet. Just send it to my email and I will be for sure to get it. Okay. Let's take that off. Congratulations again, Martina. And put it to this way. All right. So we are doing a creative card challenge of, uh, St. Patrick's. And the way I'm going to do this, I'm also going to tie in what's called simple stamping, hashtag simple stamping. Now, uh, Stampin' Up! has a challenge every month with simple stamping and their challenge is happy birthday cards, but I really wanted to get in a leprechaun, a shamrock card, uh, St. Patrick's Day card. Uh, so I'm skipping the birthday part, but I am still staying with the hashtag simple stamping. And what that means is uh, a stamp, obviously, an ink, and then just paper and nothing else. No ribbon, no bling, no die cuts, no embossing, nothing. Just stamp, ink, and paper. So I needed to create some designer paper. And let me switch my camera view over. This is what I created, and I want to show you all how easy it is to make your own background paper, all right? Um, turn my fan off. I was a little hot there for a minute. Now I'm okay. So first of all, I'm going to go ahead and get a five and a half by four and a quarter piece. Now I'm going to trim it down, but I wanted to go ahead and stamp all around. I also have a protective sheet because um, you can see like I went over the edge right there. So we're going to do that. All right. Now I am using our St. Patrick's uh, Lucky Clover stamp set this morning. And you'll notice we have a big, medium, and small, and then itty bitty. <laughs> okay. So we're going to use all these stamps and we're going to create some designer paper. All right. Do I have everybody with me? Sure. We've got everyone. We got Wendy and Colleen, Joan, Susan, Rita, Wendy, Vicki, 
Oh, good morning, all you guys. And, oh, I was going to say something else. What was I going to say? Um, well, it'll come back to me in a minute. All right. So I went into our ink stash. Do you know how many green inks we have? Check this out. We have eight. Eight greens in our color collection. I think that's it. Wait a minute. Where's my parakeet party? Oh, no. Oh, here it is. Phew. I was like, wait a minute. We have more than that. Yeah. So eight, nine, ten. We have ten greens. Woo. Look at that. That's a lot of green. <laughs> so you have optimal choices here. I am going with the parakeet party, the garden green, the uh, soft sea foam. Oh, and there was one more I was going to use. Um, oh, old olive. All right. There we go. Old olive. All right. So I'm using these four colors to create my background paper. All right. So let me put all these away. And we're going to start with the largest one first. Okay. If you start with the smallest, you end up filling up too much room and you don't have room for the big one. So if you start with the largest, then you'll have room for all the sizes. And we're going to start with the garden green. And I'm only going to put a couple on here because I have four different stamps I'm going to be using. And the way we do this, so make sure you can see everything. We've got our stamp and this is the large clover, four leaf clover. And we're going to stamp off the edge there. Okay, so that gets me one. Now remember, I'm going to be putting this in between. Okay, so I can't have them too close. I also don't want them lined up. I want them kind of looking like they fell from the sky and just scattered like leaves do. Okay, there's one. Oh, I also want to turn them. So here is, so I'm going to go ahead and pull this one into the paper. All right, there we go. I like it. And then this last one down here, I'm just going to put in the corner. Okay, so there we go. We have our large one in there clean this off. Oh, remember, if you have any questions, put a question mark or um, a cue so I can find it. Excuse me as I take a sip of my tea. Mm -hmm. Nope, nobody's got a question yet. All right, here we go. Second size, second size, second color. All right, put my garden green away and get out my parakeet party. <laughs> I love this color. We still get this color for a whole nother year, so we're good. After next year, though, it'll be gone, so... All right, and we're going to put this one right there. I'm just trying to get them in between. But remember, I've got this little one that's going to come in. So, okay. Mm -hmm. That looks good. All right, so now we have our parakeet party in there. Our third one, this little bitty one, is going to go with the old olive. Okay. And we actually have more space to put this one. Oh, be careful. I just got that line there, so don't press down too hard. That one came off the page. Let's get this one off the page also. Yeah, we have a lot of these. All right, I'm going to lift it up. It's kind of hard to see. There we go. Um, yeah, I like that. Okay, now our fourth color is so light that it doesn't matter if you stamp on top of one of these clovers because you're not going to see it. It's so light. It's this soft sea foam. I mean, you can barely even see the color on the box. <laughs> just, And it's all these little bitty ones. So I'm just going to come in here and I am just going to fill in between the clovers. And like I said, it doesn't matter if you get it on top because you're not going to see it. Let's see. Looks like we need some up here. Is that it? Maybe a couple down here. Yeah. All right. We've made ourselves some background paper. All right. Isn't that cool? 
It's so simple. Like I said, you just got to kind of keep it in your head. Okay, I need to keep them spaced apart so I have room for the next size to go in there. And then just twist them. And it looks like they just kind of sprinkled and fell everywhere. <laughs> Love it. All right, so that is our background paper. Now let's make our card. Let's move this. And I love the parakeet party. So we're going to go with a parakeet party base. Whoops. And like I said, we're going to trim this down. So let me get my trimmer. What did I drop? Oh, my bone folder. No. Oh, oh, there it is. Okie dokie. Um, I'm actually going to use this for two cards, and I am going to go from top to bottom. OK, but I'm not going to cover the whole front. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to cut this in half. Oh, heavens, where's my blade? Oh, gosh, I hate it when the blade falls out. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, there's no way I'm going to find it right now. All right, you guys, I'm going to have to use my big guillotine trimmer. Hold on. Where did that silly blade go? Oh. OK, I am going to cut it. It is... Um, can y'all see me? It's four and a quarter all the way across, so I'm going to go two and an eighth. There we go. Oh, come here. There we go. And now I'm not just going to put that on there like that. That looks kind of boring. I am going to outline it with the garden green. So, oh, and here we go again. I still have my, uh, I'm going to have to cut this one too. So if this is two and an eighth and I want another quarter inch, that's going to be two and three eighths. Well, give me that edge. So I need two and three eighths. And I need two of them because I'm going to make two cards. So I might as well get it put in here now. There we go. And I don't know what I'm going to do with this yet, but I don't want to lose it. Okay, how are we doing? How are we doing? Oh, Deborah, you're not sorry. Uh, sorry, you're not late. <laughs> I'll catch you up. So what we did, Deborah, is we created our own St. Patrick's background paper by stamping all over, okay, using different colors. And now we're just putting the card together. So I, I had a whole sheet and I cut it in half and then I cut the card stock so that a little bit would be showing on both sides. Go, come on, there we go, a little glue, a little glue, just a little bit, that's all you need. Okay, kind of center that the best you can. Looking good. All right. And now this is going to go on here. Isn't that pretty? I just love that. How that, I mean, so simple, but so easy. Okay. And uh, we call this hashtag simple stamping. Nothing, no fancy tools. This is for those who like to be minimalists and not have a whole bunch of stuff in their house. <laughs> All you need is stamp, ink, and paper. That is it to create this card. Now I'm looking for my snips. There they are where they're supposed to be in the cup. And I noticed this needs to be trimmed down just a bit. There we go. Well, thank you, Brenda. I appreciate that. Like I said, it's really simple to make. All you need is some color and some shamrocks, and there you go. All right, almost done. We are doing St. Patrick's Day, and I had the stamp on. Okay, I know here it is. Let's see it. Okay, okay, we already had the stamp on the block, and this is just um, how big is this? Ooh, this is five eight strip. Okay, I don't need five eighths. I only need a half inch. So hold on, let me. Let me get it. These are scraps. I thought I had a half inch scrap. Um, are these all? Okay, these look like half inch. <laughs> when I make uh, four by five and a quarter uh, whites, I have all these left over. So, well, nope, that's all right. Well, we're just going to go with it because that's what it is. Okay. 
Uh, what color? The dark green or black? I'm going to go with black. I want it to pop. I don't want the whole card to be green. You get kind of, you'd lose everything. It'd all blend together. All right, so here's my happy St. Patrick's Day. I'm going to put it in the middle because I'm not sure what I'm going to do with, ooh, got the edge, darn it. Be careful when you stamp, just go straight up and straight down so you don't get the edges of the rubber. Okay, straight down and straight up. Perfect. Okay. Yeah, if you rock it a little bit, you'll get the edge of the rubber. And if there's ink on it, you'll get an outline of the rubber. <laughs> you don't want that. <laughs> okay, so far so good. Haven't decided. No, I definitely don't like that. Oh, you know what? That's a little tilted. Oh, shoot. Oh, well. Um, definitely don't want that. Do I want a banner maybe coming out like that? Hmm. Or just, I can't decide. Let's see what it looks like if I trim it down. Well, I'll trim it on this side. I think what I'll do is a flag tail on this side. So how I do flag tails, if y'all haven't seen me, I'm going to zoom in for you. If you don't have a, and some people call it a dovetail, I call it a flag tail. You just snip up the middle, okay? And where the tip of your scissors landed, you're just going to go from the corner to that point and then turn it and that point. And voila, you've got yourself a flag tail. All right, now I can either put that there, put that there, hmm, put it up here, put it up here. I can't decide. I know I want a clover right here. That's what I want, but I don't have one. I will. That's all I can do. Okay. Yep. Now I'm wanting the flag tail on that side. All right, we're going to redo it. <laughs> this is called creating on the fly. Um, I had the card pretty much planned out, but then you know how I go. I just I got to change my mind all the time. Okay, here we go. We're going to put that in there again. Remember, straight down and straight up so you don't get any of the edge. And then what I'm going to do is flag tails on both sides. There we go. So once again, here we go. Go up and then from corner. All right, that's one. And let me do it again for you guys. I'm trying to stay in the camera. It's hard to cut and watch the, the camera at the same time. Yep. And there we go. Okay, now let me zoom back out so you can see my card. Woo, all right. All this mess. Okay, now we have the banner. Now that looks better. All right, now we've got some stuff here. Now I can put it on dimensionals. That is not against the rules of simple stamping. So let me get my dimensionals. And we're done. That's it. That's all I'm doing. So your challenge this week is to create a St. Patrick's Day card. Okay, happy St. Patrick's Day. Or good luck card or something like that. Anyways. Ta -da. Okay. Yay. That's it. That's all there is. <laughs> Hashtag simple stamping. I hope you guys liked that. Of course, you know that I'm not a simple stamper. I want a shamrock here. I want bling here. I want a bow. I want some ribbon, <laughs> but I'm trying to stay with the rules here. All right. I got a question from Mickey. What stamp set did you use? Good question. I've got the Lucky Clover. All right. This is in our spring catalog, Stampin' Up! Spring catalog. And let's see if we got any other questions in here. It's just uh, scanning real quick. Nope. Okay, that's it, you guys. All right, congratulations again. Let me put her card up there again to Martina. Don't forget, send me your email in, not your email. I'm sorry, send me your mailing address to my email. <laughs> All right, there we go. Y'all have a great week and I will see you Friday for Fun Full Friday. Bye-bye. <laughs>